for today we are going to start a first chapter of science and what is the name of our chapter it is plants increasing the numbers so our today's topic is seed germination and this lecture is lecture number 4 okay okay so before getting into our today's topic i would like to do some recap of our previous lecture so what we have learned in our previous lecture that new plants grow from seeds okay so uh, we have learned that a new plant grows from a seed and a baby plant is known as a seedling because it's very very tiny understood so uh, i have also told you that not all plants grow properly because of some reasons and what are those reasons those reasons are that uh, small baby plants and some seeds are destroyed due to heavy rain and strong winds so they are just destroyed they are, the wind and heavy rain blow them away so they are destroyed got it okay so the third second reason is that some animals and insects eat them when they are laid on the ground they are spread on the ground all the insects and animals come and eat them okay got it okay now a third point is that they, the small plants and seeds don't get their favorable condition to grow so they don't grow properly understood okay Okay so let's move on to our today's topic so what is our today's topic our today's topic is seed germination so what is seed germination so seed germination it is the process of seeds developing into new plants or seedling got it no no problem i'll tell you once more i have uh, you uh, you must remember that uh, i have told you that new plants or baby plants are called seedlings yes they are called seedlings okay so let me give you an example see sprouting of seedlings from a seed okay um uh, from examples like gram or mustard okay mm, i hope i think you have not understand so let me give you an example of a gram like just see that this is a gram seed okay so when you will uh, uh, soak it in the water for some time and get a wet cloth and put all the grams in that wet cloth and tie that cloth and put it somewhere and after some time you you see that a sprout is came out okay so when this sprout will be there so if you will place this sprout in the ground so uh, after some days this this sprout will become a baby plant means a seedling okay so when it will become a seedling it will be it will be having shoot root and lots and lots of things and um, lots of parts of a plant also so it will grow into a plant okay got it okay okay so this process is known as seed germination okay now let's move on to another question so what is that another question that another question is what are the required condition for seed germination process and do you know that this question is very very much important for our exams it may come in our exams so we have to give the correct answer so come on Let's see what are the conditions for seed germination process. So the first is air, second moisture or we can say water, and third is our sunlight. Okay, so come on, let's know the role of all these. So the role of air is air is that for breath, breath, 
and do you know that plants also take breath because they are alive they are not non living they are living so they they have to take breath so that they could live okay got it so see what's the role of water water makes the seed coat soft so why the water made the seed coat soft let's see the water makes the seed coat soft so that baby plant could break the coat and come out of the seed coat okay okay a third is sunlight sun what's the role of sunlight the role of sunlight is for making seed cell active okay so come on let's do a quick recap of this all okay okay so yes i was talking i was talking about recap come on do a quick recap so uh, what uh, seed germination what is seed germination S uh, seed germination it is a process of seed developing into new plants or seedling a new plant or baby plant is known as seedling okay so uh, let me tell you an example like sprouting of seedling from a seed a seed can be of gram mustard whatever uh, uh, whatever uh, seed you want to take okay uh, so uh, i have given an example over here what uh, about a gram that uh, first we have to do all the process and when, then we have to grow it will become a plant okay so now let's move on to our and our and other other question what is our, that other question that other question is what are the required condition for germination process so the first uh, is air second moisture or we can or we can uh, take it as a water third is sunlight okay so what's the role of it what's the role of all these okay so uh, the role of air is plants also take breath okay so plants are also living they are not non living they also take breath okay so uh, what's the role of water just like moisture so water makes the seed coat soft why does it make the seed coat seed coat soft yes so that baby plant could break the coat and come out of the seed coat okay i hope you understood it okay so uh see the third part is sunlight so sunlight uh, for making seed cell active so sun uh, the role of sunlight is for making the seed cell active got it okay i hope you have got it. you have understood understood all this so uh, please 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 like share and subscribe my video and send my video to all your friends also and i'll make more and more new new videos for you all not only the subject of science i will make the videos of more other subjects also and thank you bye bye